this is Heather Hoffman and I'm here to share some fun Easter treat packaging I made using reverse confetti's goodie box confetti cuts. I die cut them out of clear acetate. Uh, this is heat resistant, you don't need to do that unless you're planning on stamping and heat embossing any acetate will work. And I've already assembled the box here um, just because I didn't figure you want to sit and watch me score and fold and uh, it assembles really easy. I know that there's uh, not much to it and only one little piece of tape. So I threw some white, just shredded paper in there, and then I have some um, little decorative Easter eggs that I've gotten and I'm putting in there. Um, and I, I like the clear acetate for these because it makes it fun for um, whatever's in there to show. You can cut these out of pattern paper or anything else, but for this I thought the acetate was kind of a fun way to go. Um, and two of the flaps on the top, opposite each other, I'm cutting a little tiny hole in. Um, that's going to allow me to tie it together some jute string that I'm using for that and I'm cutting a good long piece and I'll thread it through there um, and you can poke a bigger hole if you want I punched a fairly small hole um, just because I didn't want it to show that much um, but as you can see though I missed one piece as I went through instead of getting them both there at the same time so it's easy to push the other one through and again if it's hard to get them through with a teensy tiny hole feel free to punch a bigger hole and then I'm just gonna tie that into a simple loop at the top and then I'm going to build a tag to decorate this. Um, and I've pulled out some different stamps and dies that I'm going to be using to do this. I'm using the newly released dashed line tag for this. And I'm going to add some florals using Build a Bunch. And I'm using Stormy dye ink to stamp um, both my sentiment and my flowers. My sentiment's coming from Easter Blessings. And this tag, even though it has the stitched lines in it um, and some texture, uh, a large bold sentiment like this still stamps um, nice and clear and is easy to read on there. If it was too fine it might be a little hard with uh, the stitch lines through there. Um, it might break up the sentiment but for this one it worked perfectly. Now I'm going to stamp my flowers um, again using the Stormy dye ink. It's just a little bit of a softer than um, a bold black ink. And once I've got those stamped on some white pat or white cardstock, I've chosen some just only three Copic colors um, that are going to match with the eggs that I have in my little treat box. That'll keep it all color coordinated. You can see how I chose them there. I chose uh, Y13, B21, and R20. And I didn't do multiple colors to add shading and everything. I just wanted soft color. Um, and on the blue flower and the yellow one, you'll notice I just I'm concentrating my color in the center and then flicking out so there's a little bit of white at the edge. Um, so a little bit of interest and dimension despite only being one color. Now I'm going to use the coordinating build a bunch confetti cuts to die cut these out. I use a little tiny bit of post-it tape just to hold them in place. Um, and I don't know why, but this little yellow one for some reason, I think I was, I wasn't being patient enough. I had a hard time getting it lined up. And it's funny because that's probably the simplest one to line up. Um, the good news is, is these are very easy to tell when you do have them lined up perfectly. Um, look at that, absolutely a perfect match. I don't know why I couldn't get that before. And line up the last one and then I'm taking it over to my die cut machine and I didn't pull my die cut machine on camera for this just because it would have taken a little bit longer and it's heavy. So now I've got those die cut out and I'm gonna add those onto my tag using foam adhesive. So I plan my layout and then I'm going to cut little pieces of the foam tape and instead of putting them on the back of the flowers, I'm tucking them underneath on the tag. That way I can make sure they don't stick off the sides um, and then have sticky on the back of my tag. So I'm going to stick those all on and tie it on the top. And then you have a cute little Easter treat box to surprise your kids with on Easter morning or give to a friend. Um, I love that sentiment. I love the flowers. I love the bright springy colors. And doing the box and the clear acetate is another fun touch. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful day.